What is going on my peeps, your man Versatile is back with another video back here to discuss One UI 2.5 on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. Yes, it has taken a little bit for it to arrive. This is the T-Mobile variant that is most likely the reason why as it is not, you know, completely unlocked even though I did network unlock it. So we finally got the update here. So before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that way you never miss my videos. That way we can sit back and chillax and see what's cracking. Now let's get into the new features, updates, all that fun stuff with One UI 2.5. Now, surprisingly, it was about 2. Point, no, oh my goodness, 1.7 gigs in size. Now my tablet, I believe, or all Samsung Galaxy Tablet 6 tablets that are running uh, T-Mobile software was on One UI 2.0, not even One UI 2.1. So I believe that's the reason why it was so massive is that it combined One UI 2.1 with 2.5 and dropped it on here uh, as well as the Samsung or the September security patch. So one of the first things we can do is if we come in here, we'll be able to see easily you know, um, da, 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 da. we hit the about tablet, go to software information. You guys see that right there. One UI 2.5 and the security patch. If you go into biometrics and security, as you guys can see there, September. I don't know why they didn't update with October or even November. Now my Z Flip and my Galaxy S20 that are also on T-Mobile software, likewise have not received November. They're both running October. So a little bit slow this time around, maybe still because of COVID. So let's get into some of the new features. One of the things that Google has implemented that Samsung likewise pushed, you know, server side wise was nearby share. And that's the ability to basically share with any Android device, kind of sort of similar to Apple's uh, AirDrop. And so before One UI 2.5, there was a good length of time, I wanna say 15 seconds at most, maybe even 10 seconds where once you hit nearby share on here, so if we go in here, let's go into the gallery, let's find a picture that I wanna share. So here's the update information. If we really wanted to get into what was all new that we'll go over. Let's say I wanted to share this with my Z Flip, right? Now both devices kinda have to, have to be on for it to find each other. So we tap here, we tap share. Now you see nearby, what? All right, tap share. Now you see nearby share is right there. If I click it, it's gonna find it. Now it will find it relatively fast. And as you see and heard on my phone, it's like, oh, device is you know, being scanned. Now it's taking forever even here. So this is actually interesting. So now One UI 2.5 may have, if not broke, may have, uh, lagged nearby share now let's see if i can speed it up by actually doing this and then i click this to become visible let's see if that changes anything as you guys can see there all right so now it's visible now it connects a whole lot faster so and then from there you can on this phone you can pick you know whatever app you want to do to open it now let's say we want to do that again hit nearby share let's see if it will take so now it has somewhat changed its priorities, I guess. So let's see if we go into here. Okay, all kind of, yeah, all right, boom, boom, boom. So, oh, okay, so now everything pops up. My other phone, the, the S20 also pops up. Now they pop up. So I guess because I hadn't, you know, since the restart, I hadn't actually checked it out or anything. That's probably why it took so long to actually activate on here. But that's one of the features that you will now be able to appreciate. You can send files. You can send video files through nearby share from one device to the other device. Samsung's previous ability to quick share was called quick share basically, and that was only via Samsung devices. Nearby share works with all Android devices. So if you wanna look in here real quick as to what we get, y'all see me right there, hey, how y'all doing? Uh, wireless Samsung Dex is now supported on here. Wi-Fi. Uh, in terms of scanning it and all that type of stuff. And now it lets you know how fast or slow the Wi-Fi you're connected to is. It also, you know, while attempting to access Wi-Fi router, you can request a password. 
and then in terms of multi window the screen cannot be split into three sections so now we can have like a calculator YouTube and like Google Google keep notes or something like that we'll actually show you guys how to do that and the edge panel has now been added to the multi view window app tray as well as the augmented reality zone so and i don't think we really care too much about that and then of course security so we're going to get into some of these things Ooh, all right let's back out of there but if we want to we can actually do this let's say we want to have the gallery open so we'll do split screen there and then we'll do let's see Oh, you can't hold this. So if I do calendar or calculator, you see that. And then if I do something like that, uh oh, I guess it didn't work. Oh, you already created this app pair. Oh, my bad. I did not want to create that app pair. Um, and you can also switch the orientation of said, you know, devices. And then, okay, maybe I have to. All right, let's see if I grab this. No. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click press back, and then I'm gonna swipe from over here. It created this dumb app pair. I don't know why. I hate that. Then let's say we want mm, Samsung Galaxy. Let's see, we want this in here. Boom. So now you can have three separate apps open with no problems. Now I've never opened Samsung apps on here, or the Samsung Notes on here before. But as you see here, boom, just like that three separate apps open and then all you gotta do is swipe home and it's all gone so that's what's up I, I find that to be really cool i like that i'm sure there's use cases for it especially if you're using this to actually work you can have youtube a window playing a video in one area you know and then you have your the internet up maybe you have your word document up you know all that fun jazz you have now accessible via one ui 2.5 on the galaxy tab s6 another thing that's readily noticeable if you haven't noticed here is the icons are a lot smaller the folders are a lot smaller in terms of that holds your apps now i think you can change this by simply just changing your screen zoom settings the problem for me is when you do that so if we go on the display when you do that like the word like everything else kind of gets unnecessarily bigger as well so now if we come back out, it, it seems just like a, just a tad bit too big because I'm not blind. Now the apps are back to normal size. So I actually might leave it here just because of that because I do like larger size apps to kind of take up a little bit more space. So that's what you're able to have there. As I mentioned before, the edge panel, when you swipe into the side, this is the app window tray where you can do multi apps. So let's say we want to bring up YouTube you want to swipe you want to bring in chrome all right so i think what you have to do is actually hold then you can drag it and you can do pop-up view or you can do drag to open to the side there and then boom now you got youtube open on one side and if you want to you can actually swap sides i guess yeah you can swap sides boom just like that see how snappy and responsive that is it's really nice and that's an app pair you could actually make if you want to as well now that actually might be something i'll do so now the other thing that you can do with this is for me you can have clipboard you can have your reminders you can also have the weather widget right here pull down to refresh it and you are good to go now how do you change all that well you can either hit the settings button right here and settings will pop up on the side here, which is kind of nice. So you won't actually leave the entire area if you're already in split view. And then you can actually arrange and choose what other edge panels you want on your device. So that's actually pretty nice. And then you can also change the transparency by going up here, clicking on handle settings. And in here, as you guys can see, you can choose what side you want it to be on. And you can also change the color and the transparency. So I have mine set to, selected to black transparency on 100 so you ain't seen it at all and then you can change the size of the slider so that's also really nice and it's going to be on either side depending on what side you actually selected so if i go ahead and just drag that to close the settings swipe back up what is the next thing that has been added well as we were kind of hinting or not hinting talking about before before the secure wi-fi is now accessible and there's a button that has been added 
right there, just like that. So secure Wi-Fi allows you to really hunker down on your Wi-Fi and how or what can be accessed. So if we go into there, okay, that didn't really help me at all. At details in the store. So users can check the protection activity records in a timeline format in the seven days tab. So essentially using your um, oof, social, uh, <laughs> your digital well-being, you'll be able to see that as well in there. So that's actually pretty nice. You can also see that in your battery settings as well. And you can actually watch and see it within a month's worth of time as well. So that's pretty nice. Those who uh, care about having even more secure Wi-Fi, just be cautious because it does kind of like run data. And then I believe like you, you can actually like buy additional like time or data to for secure Wi-Fi. So be, be mindful of that. The other thing you guys saw that popped up is live captions. So now with One UI 2.5, you can take advantage of live captions while you're watching video. So now if you have that on, it will automatically caption the videos for you and you don't have to necessarily turn on captions in the individual video. So that's really nice. One of the things that has also changed or been added to the Galaxy Tab S6 via One UI 2.5 is the navigation gestures are now available for third party uh, launchers as well here. So like with the phones, with the Galaxy S20 or even the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, you can now have access to the, the navigation gestures with third party apps, such as Nova Launcher, Launcher Launcher, you know, if you use another launcher on the Galaxy Tab S6. Now, one of the things you can also do on here, if you do use your tablet to message, is if you go into Samsung message, uh, the messages app, you can actually, you know, change your categories around in terms of who you're talking to, families, this and that. You can edit those now as well. And then within that, you can also uh, one of the tools or features within the Samsung keyboard uh, is that you can actually search YouTube videos to share the link within the keyboard. So you don't even have to leave the messages app. You don't, well, you don't have to leave messages and you, you can do it all within the keyboard. So that's also nice there. I might be able to demonstrate that real quick. So if I, okay, so let's see. So a bunch of random numbers. Let's see here. I wish, all right, so let's say I'm in one of these random numbers. Now, if I wanted to do that, First of all, I would have to click this and I would actually have to change my keyboard from the Gboard keyboard. I love the Gboard keyboard because I like the ability to use the space or the backspace to delete words as opposed to just letters. That's the only reason why I really kind of still use the Gboard over Samsung's keyboard. But let's see if I can switch my keyboard. It's not hard. I think I gotta hold this, yeah. Now, if I do Samsung's keyboard, boom. Okay, come on. Oh, it's not, it's updating the keyboard. So now once I open it, as you guys can see here, if I select that, you see YouTube right there? So if I select YouTube, I guess I have to kind of agree to everything, I guess, is all. Now, right within here, I can search for apps. So I believe all I gotta do is hit search right here. And let's see, boom. So now if I do, uh, let's see, personal plays, boom. So now my videos <laughs> for my gaming channel pop up. Now if I want to, I just hit, if I hit the arrow, oh, it'll take me to the video. And if, oh man, I'm gonna have to do it again. All right, so if, I, if we try that again, Da, 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 da. We go there. Bam, bam. Now all I gotta do is that, and it adds the, it sends the link just like that. So that well, it doesn't send it. You just have to hit send, but it'll populate the message with the link. So that's really dope and intuitive. One of the things I will do in another video is actually show you guys the ability to actually customize a Samsung keyboard with GoodLock. GoodLock now allows you to customize the S Pen usage on here with Pentastic, and then it also allows you to 
customize the color and even some of the functionality with the Samsung keyboard via the theme park module within GoodLock. So I think I can show you guys that real quick. So if we go here and click on GoodLock, as you guys see right here, Multistar needs an update, right? So if I click on that, I don't use this. I don't think it's installed, but I don't think I have it active. Um, not going. Let's see. All right, it's installed. Yeah, okay. So I never multi up to all apps and pop up view in action. So those are really the only things I have active in there. Home Up is an app that I use to actually eliminate the icon or the logos for all the app icons. So that's another app that maybe I could show you within that good lock update. And then if we, I may have to download. All right, so Pintastic is what I was talking about. And then Wonderland, you can create your own moving wallpapers. I guess I have to download the theme park on here in order to get that accessible. So there's that. Let's see if we go in here and let's see if we look up theme park real quick. Well, now the Galaxy Stars even needs an update. All right, so let's see if it'll let me back in. Alrighty, okay, still updating. Uh, do not show again, and if I click that, let's see if theme park pops up. Not yet. Sometimes it takes a little bit after an update for the app to actually pop up in the Galaxy Store. And then sometimes it'll pop up right within GoodLock. So that's, there's that as well. Sometimes GoodLock itself needs to update, but um, either it'll do it by itself because you can't necessarily do it in here, which kind of sucks. Yeah, see, so there is that. If I can bring that to you, I will. As I said, wireless decks can now be accessed. So if I find decks here, where are you? I don't have decks up here anymore. Or did, oh, there you go. I think I can hold it. Yeah, so now you can connect wirelessly. And I can connect to my TV in the living room. So that's how easy that is. And, or, you know, of course, you just wanted to leave it on here. You can do that as well. Now, in terms of some of the other apps that can now, that have additional features like Samsung Notes, you can use that in conjunction with the Samsung Recorder app to bookmark points of your audio that you're recording and then recall back to those. I showed that in the Galaxy S20 One UI 2.5 video. I know with the tablet, some of the things that I showed in that video, you probably won't use with the tablet. So I'll just mention it here. That's one of them. And then also you can use your Galaxy Buds or another basically audio device, which pretty much is the Galaxy Buds, I think in this case, you can use those as an audio source while recording video. So that's also really nice to have on the Galaxy Tab S6. And that is pretty much all. It was, it isn't a lot of like things. A lot of it probably was just bug fixes, software improvements, tuning and stuff like that, which we no doubt appreciate. And so far it's been running just fine. Only lost 6% since taking off the charger about mm, two and a half hours ago or so only lost 6%, so that's also very good. This tablet is holding up very well. You know, for being over a year old and still getting updates, that's also a good thing, so I can still recommend the Galaxy Tab S6 as well for you guys to buy. Links will be down in the description if you are still looking for one. I know the, tab, the Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus is out, but the price difference between these two could make the Tab S6 a better buy just from that perspective. I know with the Tab S7, it offers 120 hertz and stuff like that. So there is, and then, of course a larger screen size so that's all bonuses to actually investing in that tablet but again leave down comments below what features you like or hope that samsung adds with later updates what are you looking forward to in terms of one ui 3.0 and if i miss anything go ahead and drop the comments down in the section below but if you guys haven't already ignite the like button subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so that way you never miss my videos so we can sit back, chillax, and see what's cracking. But your man Versal signing out. And until the next video, wait for it.